Hello, this is William with Motorsportsland RVs. I'm going to be giving you a walk around on the Heartland 3160 EL fifth wheel. This is a full time living uh, trailer designed to uh, hit the road and stay in it for quite a while if you want. Uh, we're going to do a walk around on the outside first, and then we'll head inside and show you all the wonderful features of this trailer. Uh, first off, I want to mention um, you've got G rated tires on this trailer with 16 inch rims. So that's uh, overkill for the trailer, gonna help you not have problems with the tires down the road, uh, blowouts, things like that. You've got the four-step aluminum uh, here. So you get lots of um, uh, steps there, make it a little easier to get in and out of the trailer. Six-point auto leveling, which is hydraulic. So you've got uh, four leveling jacks that come down up front and two back behind the tires. When they're all down, this thing's like it's on a foundation. Very, very solid. And uh, the best feature of that, of course, is that it automatically levels your trailer front, back, and side to side. Um, right here, you've got the water heater. It's 12 gallon water heater, DSI. So you just flip the switch inside and that starts it up, and gets you rolling there. Huge pass through storage here. Um, unencumbered, they do a really nice job in not having the uh, plumbing exposed. A lot of fifth wheels you look in, they'll have the, the drain pipes coming down through your storage and that. This is totally uh, clear, unobstructed uh, storage space through there. Nice big uh, slam latch door here. And you're not gonna be able to tell with the video, but you just feel how solid this is. There is nothing flimsy about this uh, trailer. Uh, when you shut it, you can just hear how solid that is. Um, and it's on a hydraulic stretch to hold it up out of your way. You've got two seven and a half gallon propane tanks, one on each side. So this is one of them. Uh, coming up around the front, You've got a beautiful uh, painted front cap. Okay, so this isn't a uh, uh, fiberglass infused color. It's actually painted. So that'll really help with uh, keeping them from fading over time. Uh, the front area here has room if you wanted to add a generator. It's already pre-cut through the metal on the, uh, the floor of that storage area to put in a generator, probably in the order of uh, uh, 5,500 uh, LP generator. Got your battery location there, your other propane tanks right here, okay? And then here's the other side of that huge storage area. Um, again, they kept all the, all the business off to the side there, so this is just unencumbered space here. There's all your levers and um, valves and everything you need there. You've got uh, your outside shower set up here also. Outlets, you got coax inputs here for your satellite or park uh, TV and all that. Here's your uh, auto level. Again, you just push one button there and it levels itself up. One of the really neat things about auto level too, which uh, not everybody uh, understands it has, when you disconnect from the trailer, and there's kind of a, a little cheat sheet on just how it works, but uh, when you disconnect from your trailer and it you know, you, you started here, you disconnect, pull your truck around, the, the trailer levels where it is, it's not going to be the same height it was when you disconnected. You've got a button on here, you push it, brings it back to the original hitch height. So you just pull right in, hook up to it. There you go, keeps that nice and simple. Um, the wheels on this, the suspension, it's a more ride suspension system. One of the very unique things about this is it actually has shock absorbers on each one of the tires. So it's not just leaf springs with your trailer bouncing all over the place. You've got uh, uh, the shock absorbers helping to with the rebound of the, the bouncing. Uh, best example I can give you there, if you've ever ridden or seen a car that the uh, shock absorbers are shot in it, they're just too old, the car's just bouncing all over the place instead of riding nice and smooth. Most trailers just have leaf springs to their suspension. This actually has four shock absorbers, so that really, really helps keep it riding smooth. You've got the frameless windows here. Real nice look to them, obviously. And also, they, when they open, the, the window pivots out from the side, so it kind of creates a, a shingle effect. If you get a, a rainstorm that comes through after you've left the trailer and you had some of the windows open, it sheds the water away from the, the opening instead of letting the water come in. So that's a nice uh, uh, benefit to having that. Got a little storage area here. I love this. This is a great place to put like a toolbox or something, just a, a small uh, uh, storage spot that you can have some specific things that you know right where they're at so they don't get mixed in with everything else in just one big storage area. Um, you've got the magnet here to hold that in place which is nice. Uh, the power cord reel here in the back so you just push a button, 
it takes that cord in and out. You're talking a 50 amp cord here because the, the trailer's got two ACs. That's a lot to handle sometimes uh, to either roll up or, or put away. This back fiberglass cap, uh, something that's really nice about this, which a lot of people don't uh, realize, but they, they've put a lot of uh, thought into how they designed this, that it creates um, kind of an eddy effect with the, the wind coming back and actually helping to push the trailer when you're going down the road. I've talked to the, uh, the uh, guys that deliver these to us and tow them all the way here from Indiana and asked them, do you notice any, uh, any significant uh, uh, miles per gallon increase towing this trailer? The brochure claims about two to three miles per gallon better with this cap, rear cap design uh, than having just the standard flat back end to it. So two to three gallons uh, better miles per gallon, that's, that's significant. I've got the, uh, the backup camera up top there, it's prepped for that. Nice ladder that uh, you know, can get you up on top. LED marker lights and uh, the slides. These are hydraulic slides. So being you've already got the hydraulic um, leveling system, they tie into the same hydraulic motor to, to work your slide outs. The beautiful thing about hydraulic slides are when they're in, this uh, flange here pushes against this rubber seal at 400 pounds per square inch, all right? Hydraulics don't um, lose their pressure. Like electric slides, uh, once they're in, the electric motor, when you're traveling down the road, can kind of loosen up and let those slides come out just a little bit, not keep all the pressure on it. You got 400 PSI when it's in and 400 PSI when it's out. So it uh, does a really good job at just totally sealing out the, the, um, the outside. Got a nice big awning here, way up in the air, so you're not gonna whack your head into the, the arms when you walk by. It's obviously a power awning. Nice LED light strip there, your LED floodlight. Um, just an awesome trailer. Bighorns, just year after year, have been in the top trailers uh, for, for RV or fifth wheels sold in the country. It's really hard to, uh, hard to find anything that's uh, that much better. It's an awesome trailer. Come on inside, we'll take a look around and show you what we have. So inside here, you'll notice the fit and finish really second to none. We've got some more expensive trailers we sell here, um, different brands. And I got to tell you, Bighorn, uh, for the price and the, the, the quality and fit and fish you're getting, I, I would put it up against trailers that cost fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 more. I mean, they might have a few more bells and whistles, but for just a good solid trailer, you just really can't hit, uh, beat the Bighorn. Uh, this floor plan in particular, the 3160EL, is not a 42 or 40 foot trailer either. It's 35 feet, uh, 10 inches, 35 feet, 10 inches total length. So it's reasonable enough that you can still go camping out uh, in the mountains, dry camping, things like that. It's uh, just a great size in my opinion. Uh, inside you can see the coffered ceiling, which has a real nice look to it. Um, you've got uh, the uh, whisper quiet AC system. So up in the ceiling, you're gonna see these uh, cold air return vents and they're, they're scattered throughout the trailer. What that does is instead of all the cold air going back to one spot where you have the, the AC head sticking out of the ceiling, they're really loud. This is a very quiet system. You've got two ACs on this and they're both the, uh, the whisper quiet uh, setup. So that's really nice if you've ever turned on the AC in a trailer doesn't have that, you can appreciate how loud the AC is. You can hardly talk to each other sometimes. Uh, 55 inch television flat screen television. You've got, uh, you know, the fireplace here, which is, uh, I believe, uh, uh, yeah, 5100 BTU. That runs on a thermostat too. So if you're plugged in an RV park and you wanna just uh, uh, not use your propane to heat the trailer, as long as the temperatures are reasonable, like in the 40s, you know, 45, 50 degrees, something like that, you just need to take the edge off to warm the trailer up. These little fireplaces work great. They work as a space heater. You can set it uh, with a thermostat and have it have it keep the trailer um, at a reasonable temperature without burning up your propane. Um, love these lights in the uh, slide out, just really trying to give all the detail they can. You've got a sleeper sofa back here, queen size, that pulls on out. So that would give you sleeping for another adult couple. Awesome chairs here. These have, you can see the, some of the cool LED light features on it, but it's got, uh, it's got a massager built into each chair and also heat. So you can be sitting in this, lounge that thing back, which is power, by the way, you just push a button, have, the, have it uh, um, come back, sitting there watching TV. 
So these blinds, these there's a lot of these blinds you see in trailers. You got the, the day blind and then the full uh, night blind. The main thing I want to point out here, I've seen a lot of the uh, kind of copycat blinds out there. These are MCD. Get online, do some reviews on MCD roller bl uh, blinds versus some of the competition out there. These just flat out work. So you can pull this down, have it stop there. You just give it one touch, it goes up. This trailer is kind of cold right now. It's been sitting outside. And uh, that's where I've seen the knockoff blinds not work so well. They kind of get stuck where they're at and you go to retract them and they, they'll, they'll get stuck. They won't go up. But this, you know, just give it a pull and it goes all the way. And I chose this as a bigger blind because they're the more challenged ones typically in RVs. You've got these MC blinds around the entire trailer. So that's nice. I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the uh, warranty on this trailer. This is warranty for full-time RV living. So uh, it's, it's, the main point to that isn't so much the warranty, but how they built the trailer, in my opinion anyway. They, they've built this uh, well enough that the company feels fine with offering you, uh, or you're not voiding the warranty if you live in it full time. Most trailers out there, they're not gonna have the full-time RV warranty and you void your warranty technically if you uh, live in it. So they've designed this trailer to withstand um, uh, the abuse of living in it uh, 365 days a year where a lot of trailers are just uh, looking to, uh, to warranty for going camping for the weekend kind of thing. And over here, we've got the kitchen. Uh, great workspace here. These are gonna be some of the biggest sinks you're gonna find in an RV. Um, stainless steel. I mean, I don't think my sink at home is this big. It's, they're really impressive. You get the nice pull down faucet here. All residential quality that we're working with here. Um, this is the new oven that uh, we're starting to see in the Bighorns. It's the Furion. It's a uh, two cubic foot oven. You know, it's not as big as your oven at home, but this is this is a real oven. You're gonna be able to do some uh, cooking with that. You got the three burner uh, top here with the nice uh, steel, uh, I would assume that's cast iron. Uh, huge microwave too. And this is a convection microwave. So you can bake in this also, all right? The refrigerator, this is a propane fed fridge. It will also run on electric, but it is not only electric. When they're only electric, then you need an inverter. And when you get out dry camping, that doesn't uh, generally work so well. So you get the propane 18 cubic foot fridge. That's huge. That's the way we order them here in Utah. I guess back east, maybe people go with the uh, residential refrigerators, but we do a lot of dry camping out west, and, and that's pretty much a must from what we've heard from uh, customers. We've got the washer and dryer prep here, and you also see the cordless uh, Dyson vacuum. Honestly, that cordless uh, vacuum, that's the way to go. They used to do um, uh, kind of uh, built-in vacuum systems, and they just were cumbersome, and they really didn't work that well. These Dysons are just the way to go. That's a four or $500 vacuum, so uh, nice to have that there. Got more storage here, down below. Storage everywhere when you look around this. Um, all your control buttons are here. You also have a, uh, a uh, wireless remote control system here that will uh, work quite a few of your, your uh, items on the trailer, like your slide outs, uh, some of your lights, things like that. Um, you're not gonna be able to tell from the camera, but this is a very solid door, solid wood, real nice. We'll let you take a look inside the uh, bathroom there. You've got a, a, a one-piece fiberglass shower with a seat, porcelain toilet, uh, Corian countertops, or Corian-type countertops. I'm not sure if they're actually Corian brand, but make sure the camera's out of there. Coming up front, got a queen-size bed in the slide out here with nice little uh, bookshelf nooks there. You also have um, you also have the USB uh, charging ports there on each side. Uh, separate thermostat for the front AC, so that's nice. And then a uh, nice big closet here too. I'll kind of switch here. And then you've got the TV up here. And again, you see the beautiful uh, cabinets and just, you know, the hidden hinges. Everything's just top notch on this. Here's the rest of that uh, quiet AC, the Whisper AC system. You don't see the head of the AC sticking through the ceiling because that's up in there. Um, our values on this trailer, really impressive. The front and back cap, close to 21 
R value. That's basically the insulation value of your, your standard two by six wall in your house. So you've got 21 on the front and the back. The side walls are 11, R factor 11, and the ceiling and floors are basically R40. One's 38, one's 40. So basically R40, that's like two two by six walls in the ceiling and the floor. So pretty hard to beat that. Let's see if I forgot anything. Uh, I think that's about it. I could go on and on though. These big horns have a lot of features to them. I've hit on a, a lot of them. Come on down to Motorsports Land and we'll, uh, we'll make sure you get a good tour and uh, probably hit on some things I've missed. Again, this is William. Thank you for your time and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care. Let